Hi, my name is Lukas Bliski and I have a pleasure to guide you through the first two exercises in this uh, weekend finance challenge. Uh, something I, I discover when I work with people is that many people feel very uncomfortable when talking about money. And uh, it was definitely one of the hard topics for me a few years ago. And I'd like to show you the two of the techniques I used in the past that helped me get grip on my on my finance and the two things the two the two strategies um, are sort of unrelated and one of them is something you can do right away and the other one is something that you can start to practice over the next months or years um, I used to do it in fact but I will show you how how to do each of those so I'm gonna start with a, with a very simple uh, thing you can you can do right away because as you know uh, the only thing to change your things change your life or change your habits or change the way things work for you is that you have to start understanding them and you have to know where you are in the process right so you have to know what is the current state in order to make it change and um, something I'd like, to, I'd like to recommend you doing, and that's something you can do right away, as I said, is you can uh, go to your internet banking and check your monthly bank statements. You can, of course, a lot of those things you can do online. You can, you can just print them out if you want um, to, make it, to make it simpler for you. Um, and what I'd like to ask you to do is I would like you to go through the list of the transactions you have in your bank account so you understand what's going on with your money right unless you have and unless you use cash you probably have the majority of your transactions in your bank account so what i'd like you to do is i'd like to go through your three months bank statement like three last three months that you got either like on paper if you got them delivered home or if you have your in the internet banking just print them out and check the transactions you have so see exactly what kind of expenses you have over the last three months. Uh, quite typically, uh, in some, some banks uh, print who was the transfer to or who, where was the payment done, what was the subscription, and some of the banks also add a category of the payment. So they actually read the transactions for you and they categorize where did your money go. For instance, if you have, if you, if you tank your um, your car at the, at the petrol station, they, when they see a transaction coming from a, from, a, from, a, from a station, they will probably mark it as a car category. So those kind of things are available online. You can, there are actually a few other services you can use, but, but just don't overcomplicate. I think the things that you, that you should do or you should be doing uh, are, should be very simple uh, and you know, not over complex, otherwise you not do them, right? So, so just make sure you go through your transactions. You, you know exactly how much you're paying for your life expenses, how much you pay for your bills, how much you're paying for your car, how, many, how much money you pay for subscriptions like Spotify or Netflix or HBO or whatever you, you're paying. Um, and then make sure that you have somewhere in the bottom of the, of the, of the transactions list per month, you probably have a sum of your total expenses and the sum of your total incomes. And the purpose of this first exercise is go through this list and uh, make sure that you know what's the end result, right? So what's the balance? What's the monthly balance on the last three statements? How much money you spent? How much money you, uh, you earned or how much money came to your accounts? And then understand what's going on. Where do you spend majority of your money? If you want to go one level down, you can also uh, you know, categorize if you're very, uh, if you want to be very, very specific, like, okay, so I'm spending, you know, 100 euro on petrol, or I'm spending, I don't know, 20 pounds per, or 20 euro per month on my uh, internet broadband, or something like that. And you know how much money you spend per subscriptions, how much money you spend on the, on the necessary account, on the necessary things, like, you know, food and, and stuff. Uh, but, I think that the, the outcome of this exercise should be not only the numbers, should be also the understanding of what's going on in your with your money. Where the money come from? How much does it come from? How much does it come? How much man, much money do you spend? And where does the money go to? All right. So that's going to be your your first exercise. 
So I recommend you stop here and before you go to the next exercise, just stop here, make sure that you print out your bank statement or get them if you have them at home. Um, take a marker if you want, just mark, the, mark it, scribble on it and make sure you know how much money you spend and how much money you make every month. Thank you.